there are a lot of people who don't pay attention every day to politics, right? And maybe they just tuned in to Kamala Harris for the first time in a while and saw her answer and I'm a middle class. They go, oh, 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 what, what? She's literally using the same answer. It only takes someone seeing it once or twice. All right. Uh, speaking of which, let's, let's, she uh, gave an interview yesterday. I think this may be her Howard Dean moment. Um, a really, really bad answer. Now, I, I can't pin her down on her, her answer regarding reparations because like all of her answers, uh, she didn't answer. <laughs> but she still alluded to some really bad ideas that uh, would give you cause for concern. Now, I, I do have to uh, tell you, she was asked about reparations from Charlemagne the God. Not, spelled not, T-H-A. not God, but God. I didn't know God needed reparations, but okay. Well, yeah, yeah I, you know, <laughs> Charlemagne the God. I, I, I don't even want to get into the history of Charlemagne and what this guy knows, but anyway. Nothing. <laughs> she went on with Charlemagne the God. Not to be confused with the gold standard, Howard Stern, Howard 100. Best among us. <laughs> And he asked her a question on reparations. Um, her answer was seven minutes long, and all of it was bad. So we've had to fast forward it. But again, all the references are available to you. Link in the description every show. So you can go and watch it in its entirety. But let's go with what we have. What's your stance on reparations? We all know that America became great, you know, off the backs of free black labor. I don't so know. my agenda, Wrong. well, first of all, on the point of reparations, I, it has to be studied. There's no question about that. It has been. And I've been very clear about that position. No, you haven't. In terms of my immediate plan, I will tell you a few of the following. One, as it relates to the economy, which is a lot of what you have addressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, I grew up oh, in the middle class. class. Oh, my mother, oh, you know, worked hard oh, here me it goes. My sister and <laughs> so my plan includes... Uh, my second mother, the woman who helped raise us, was a small business owner. Because unlike my opponent, who got handed $400 million on a silver platter and then filed bankruptcy six mm -hmm. times, don't forget that, calls himself a businessman. And, and, and so I say, and hey, she's turning on the accent. A similar point mm -hmm. is this. Don't forget so my plan Bad. is this. One, and that's my agenda. <laughs> no. To be clear, we did not her. fast forward any context that would rob you of yes. useful knowledge. We it was we fast forwarded eight hundred percent, and it was still a minute and a half clip. I know, <laughs> so we had to cut it. And I think the reason this is going so badly for it is because there are a lot of people who don't pay attention every day to politics, right? And maybe they just tuned in to Kamala Harris for the first time in a while and saw her answer and. I'm a middle class. They go, oh, 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 what, what? She's literally using the same answer. It only takes someone seeing it once or twice to basically fail you as far as the authenticity test to use Toolman's um, yeah. expression. By the way, let me just, let me just, uh, let me disabuse you of this notion. The South, you may not know this, was way behind the North as far as innovation, as far as output, because it turns yeah. out that people working at gunpoint don't necessarily put in the strongest or longest hours and aren't necessarily employees who you can rely upon for innovation or ingenuity. By 1860, 90% of manufacturing came from the North. Slavery completely impeded innovation. By the way, we've done a full in-depth segment on this. You can click a link and go watch it probably in 2018. Slaves, again, had no incentive, so they weren't innovating. Uh, Southern farms were losing their competitive edge to Northern Farms completely at that point. Also, if we're going to discuss reparations, I don't know if you know this, uh, first in line to pay it out would have to be Kamala Harris. According to her own father, Donald J. Harris, real name, she's descended from an Irish slave owner. What? <laughs> Whoa, whoops. Stop with the, <laughs> stop with the, he, he's, you know, he calls himself a businessman. You're, you're half Indian and Irish and you were raised in Westmount, Montreal. And neither of your parents are from America. So I don't know where you would get any of these reparations from, but uh, yeah, go pay it out. Go Such start. pandering. It's like, it's, it's something that has to be studied. Black people understand that something that has to be studied means no, it's not going to happen. Right. You, all, you also gave seven more minutes of word salad for them to go, she's not going to do anything with it. So if it really is an important issue to somebody listening to that show, they know she's lying. And most of the black guys are like, can we stop talking about reparations, please? That's right. Like, can we just... Make it to where I, I, I can get a job and not get shot going to school, maybe. And we're going to get here to Donald Trump, the greatest black president ever. Yeah. But you know what, uh, Toolman, you can just grab it in here because it was recorded by a black guy, so I approve yeah, of it. True. Kamala Harris has to turn up the pandering to 11 because she is in huge trouble. I'm sorry, Miss Harris. Ooh, I am for real. Obama's gay ass ain't gonna save you. Run real ass can't see you ain't 
the one. I'm sorry, Miss Harris. Ooh, I am for real. You'll never win over the black guys. Trump's about to win a second time. It's a fun little ditty. It'll be in your head. Just don't sing it in the wrong neighborhood. Don't. So, roll the windows up, lock the doors. We don't even care. Hey, if you're still watching, you can comment below or uh, click this video playing in a box. Shut up. I just need to shut up. You can tune in live weekdays, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, because that's the full show. Which you can say, shut. I didn't say anything. I know you didn't say anything. I, I could feel it. Click like.